Whitney. Look, I, I understand how you feel about your parents. Okay, I have the same reservations about marriage. Look at my family, right? Right. Right, that's exactly right. They are a perfect example of what I'm talking about. I mean, we all heard the horror stories about what happened in that marriage. Okay, but we're not them. I mean, we would have a different life. But would we, Fox? I know that we would. Look, Whitney, my parents' marriage didn't work out. They broke up because they never loved each other to begin with. Okay, but now what? What, your mother is living here with Chief Bennett because his wife, Grace, ran off with her first husband. See, Sam and Grace was another example of a perfect marriage, just like my mother and father. And look where it got them. Whitney, I see why you feel the way you do. But don't let this cut you off from the happiness a good marriage can give you. Liz, there is no such thing as good marriage. We could have a good marriage. We don't know that, Fox. Look. I'm sorry. I just don't want to take that chance. Look, I've seen what can happen. I've seen what happened to my mother, to my father. I mean, look what happened to Julian. Okay, look at that horrible marriage that he had with Teresa. Come on. I can hardly compare my misadventure with Teresa to the years your mother and father had together. Okay, but what did it mean, Julian? Obviously nothing. I mean, look where you all are now. My mother is with you. My father is with Liz, and Teresa, God, don't even get me started on that whole family. Her father left with another woman and left her mother with a broken heart. I mean, come on, don't you see what I'm saying, you guys? Whitney, we've all seen a lot of damaged relationships, but it's not necessarily gonna happen to you. Okay, Liz, I'll go ahead and make you a deal. If you can find me one couple, just one happy marriage, I'll think about changing my mind. That goes for all of you. If you guys can give me just one marriage in this town that's happy, maybe I'll change the way I think. You guys can't think of one good marriage, can you? Oh, Whitney, you, you caught us off guard. I mean, none of us can think straight. No, your thinking is fine, Liz. You're just trying to think of a way to prove me wrong, but you can't because you can't think of one good marriage in this town, period. Whitney, really, there, there must be many happy married couples in harmony. Right. Just no one we know. Look, I'm sorry, Fox, but I'm not changing my mind. Honey, I am so sorry. I feel responsible, at least partly, for Whitney's attitude and souring her on marriage. I don't think that Whitney being sour on marriage is the whole story here. You know? What do you mean? What do I mean? It kind of seems like something else is going on here. I'm not sure what it is, but there's definitely something going on that's making her behave this way. <laughs> 